welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel so today we'll be making miseto and that's just the image of how it's going to look like at the end of the meal so that's just the ingredients list just prepare before you start cooking and uh, so on the screen that you're seeing those are just my um my own ingredients so what uh, you're seeing that's soaked and washed rice i soaked it for about 10 to 15 minutes that's coconut cream if you do have coconut milk you can also use it and uh, the measurements that i did measure was one glass so i wrote on the ingredient list one cup so the cup that you start measuring the rice with it's the same same cup that you need to use on all the measurements so that's green grams i boiled them i think yes i did boil them one day before i made this recipe i like doing that to mine so that they can kind of dry up and like have a shape before i start cooking and how you know if your rice is kind of like um soaked well it kind of breaks easily you don't want to be you, you don't want it to break completely just like kind of softer and that's uh, just onions i used um one half i used a half of a big onion so if you have a medium one you can use and that's the cup um i use that cup to measure everything and in that cup i just have um half half a cup of water and uh, in terms of spices we have uh, salt chili and roiko this meal doesn't really require so much you can find roiko in baobao the african store and if you don't have roiko you can also like use the maggi cubes so in a medium clean pot just um switch turn on your stove mine was medium i like using medium then i just operate from that so as you have also actually noticed that i don't really have any oil this dish you can make it without oil if you like oil you can add oil and that's just me showing you how the green grams look up close remember mine were uh, pre-boiled one day before making this recipe but yes you can boil them the same time you're making this recipe so i just put them in the clean pot directly without any oil and then what i'm going to add next yeah, is the coconut cream remember i'm just pouring everything in the pot because i have already measured and everything was measured in the glass that has um some water in it so i scoop everything completely everything because this was one accurate measurement so i didn't want to leave anything behind so i did scoop everything I did scoop everything and then I'm going to like mix this and let it kind of boil and then we'll continue adding uh, the extra stuff as we go by yeah and the thing that is kind of solid uh, in the coconut cream that's just a frozen coconut cream I did forget to remove it prior to making this dish but it's gonna like unfreeze uh, while it's cooking yeah so as it's uh, as it boils that's how it looks like it kind of like combines and each each change changes the color but we're not really done yet so i'm going to add my onions i add my onions now because they don't really, really like like using oil but if you do have oil you can start frying the onions and then put the green grams and the coconut so I'm going to let the onions cook down, like they should kind of shrink with a down before I add uh, my spices and continue further. So uh, that's just me showing you how they look like now. So they, it's um, it's going to boil and then come back when the all the onions are cooked and mixed together. Yeah, I was just mixing it remember i haven't added oil yet yeah so after a few minutes that's me checking on the onions you can leave them for a longer time you, you if you want to you can continue as for me i didn't really leave them for a longer time because it's going to still boil so i went ahead to add water remember this glass is the one that measured everything and instead of adding one glass of water i added half glass of uh of water because my um because my rice was already uh washed and soaked that's why i didn't add one 
one full glass of water then i went ahead to add reiko one uh, tablespoon one teaspoon of reiko and then i added salt salt you just add as per your measurement how you actually like if you like too much you add more if you like less you add less remember this is just a kind of a guide not really a formal recipe so as you're making this uh this recipe just make it your own to your own liking i went ahead i went ahead to add chili why because i genuinely like chili so i added chili and then i mixed it up yeah so i added my chili and everything and i'm just going to um, mix them up to be um cooking together before i continue the next step one thing i should i should let you guys know if you're not really quick in mixing the spices especially the roiko it kind of clumps together and you're going to be having like small balls in in your um in your mixture so what you can also do you can mix the reiko aside just take a bowl or a small cup add a bit of water mix it there to be completely mixed together then add the liquid directly to your pot if you can't like be fast in mixing the powder form then I let I let everything uh, boil and cook together before I add my rice because it has to be like completely done and ready to eat before I even add my rice. So and then after that I let it boil for around three minutes I'll say I took my rice. My rice is soaked. I soaked it uh, for 10 to 15 minutes and I added one cup of coconut cream and a half cup of water if you want your rice to be dry you can add um you can wash it you can skip the soaking part and just add one and a half uh, uh, cups of liquid if you want your rice to be extremely wet you can soak your rice but then instead of adding two cups of liquid add and uh, sorry instead of adding two cup uh, instead of adding one and a half cup of liquid add two cups of liquid which is one cup of coconut cream or milk and uh, the other one is water yeah and i, I kept mine and it just that's me just uh stirring it so that um it can mix so that the green grams can go everywhere and everything is mixed well together remember at this point i did reduce my heat from medium to a bit on the lower side because i wanted it to like cook well instead of uh, cooking fast and not cooking well that's just me opening it in bits and like mixing it up yes i do mix my rice especially when i'm making this type of food and this food is actually called mseto and it's from the coastal the coastal region of kenya yeah that's just me and you can actually use uh, beans instead of um green peas if you don't like green peas and you have beans you can use beans I like green peas more than beans that's why i used and it's just all one word and uh yeah after a few minutes i'm checking on it the reason why i keep on checking on it and uh, keep on turning it is because i genuinely want it to mix well especially the green grams i don't want one part to be missing and the other one to be having a lot so and i'm just looking for the rice to cook for around 80 percent to 90 so what i went ahead to do i tested the rice before i continued to the next step so when i tested it it was kind of done it was like 80 percent 85 percent done and i went ahead to like kind of press down on it to be able to like put aluminium foil on top so I did take aluminium foil, a clean aluminium foil, and that's just how it looks like. It's pressed down before I cover each of the aluminium foil. You can also use a wet, a wet clean towel to kind of put, not really wet, it has to be kind of damp, but not extremely wet. So I'm pressing on it down. So I'm pressing on it down so that um, there's no space for the moisture to escape because that's what we're looking for we're looking for the rice to be to just cook with its own 
steam so that it, it, it completes the cooking process because back home instead of doing this back home traditionally we take uh we put burning coal on top of the of the rice so we can uh, use wet magazines or the leaves of or of a banana we put on top and then we just put uh, burning coal and then the rice is going to like complete uh, complete cooking also when you are doing this if you genuinely have an aluminum foil and, and you're doing this please be careful because it's really hot and the aluminum foil doesn't really make it any better and if you don't have aluminum foil and a clean um towel you can also use your oven just preheat your oven to around 200 degrees and let and let your rice be in there for quite some time uh, i will say 10 minutes but genuinely it does depend you can just be checking on it on maybe five minutes um interval so that it doesn't really overcook uh, so that so that it doesn't really over dry because it's not really like cooking it's just finishing the process of cooking that's me making sure that it's completely sealed and because i genuinely don't want any holes so when, when i checked on the stove that i was using because i had like reduced the heat to extremely low the stove wasn't really the stove wasn't really low it was extremely high so i had to like switch uh to another burner which was better than the one the one that I was making the rice on so i did switch it and they kept extremely low it ha it has to be low like extremely low if you have a low setting that's better if you don't just put it at one then i let it cook i let it for about um 10 minutes are uh, you yes you can check on it but whenever you're checking on it just be extremely careful because there's a lot of steam which comes out you see there's usually a lot of steam which comes out of it and if you're not really careful it's gonna like burn you so that's how it looks like when uh, it was done i checked on mine and when i was checking on mine i was um pretty okay with it how it turned out so i didn't really let it cook let it dry for a longer time so that's how it looks like and i am yeah i'm going to show you uh pretty closely how it looks like as you can see there's a lot of steam which keeps on coming out because it was steaming <laughs> yeah and i went ahead to actually test the food before i had dinner yeah that's how it looks like up close you can see the rice has kind of changed color because of the coconut cream and the spices and the green grams and you can try this recipe and then you guys can comment down below on the type of recipe that you want to be seeing us make and that's how it looks like on a plate you're going to be seeing this video sorry these photos on online and please subscribe. Thank you for watching and thank you so much.